I'm sure most of us can remember having injections in school and know that immunizations protect us from disease. So how do vaccines play a role in immunization? When pathogens enter the body, they are detected by immune system. The immune system is then able to respond in order to neutralize these invaders. Not only that, but the immune cells also take note of the characteristics of the pathogens. This is very important in case the same pathogen tries to invade the body again. This works for most cases to keep us healthy. However, this immune response can take several days. And if the pathogens are very harmful, or the immune system of the infected person is too weak or young, this can be disastrous to them. This is where immunization comes in. Immunization is a process to make a person immune or resistant to an infectious disease. To do this, we use vaccines. Vaccines contain a weakened or altered form of the pathogen, and this allows us to be safely exposed to that pathogen. This permits our immune cells to practice fighting against the altered and harmless form of the pathogen, and lets the immune cells remember their characteristics. This means that if the real disease tries to attack the body in the future, the immune cells will be able to remember how to effectively fight against it. This is what's known as resistance, as your body can destroy the invaders without you even getting sick or knowing they were there. Over the years, scientists have created many forms of vaccines, which all work uniquely. The first types are live attenuated vaccines. These are made from the pathogens, but to be much weaker than the real thing. The next types are inactive vaccines, on which the pathogen has been killed. Subunits as conjugate vaccines only use part of the pathogen, known as an antigen. The process of killing and weakening the pathogens ensures that the pathogens do not cause disease. For infectious diseases, there's a number referred to as R0. This is the amount of people that an infected person will infect. For diseases like Ebola, it's about 2. But for measles, it's about 12 to 18, meaning a person with measles can infect up to 18 other people. But vaccines can greatly affect this. Herd immunity is the indirect protection of individuals from contagious diseases by a highly immune population. The protected people in the group can protect the unprotected. For diseases contagious as measles, the vaccination rate needs to be above 95% to stop an outbreak. It has been said that vaccines are victims of their own success. As they are so effective, people have forgotten the devastating diseases that we used to face before they were used. Before vaccines, millions of people around the world were killed by diseases that for a lot of us are just awful memories today. Vaccinations today make some people uneasy due to the claims and stories like Andrew Wakefield's discredited studies, which incorrectly linked vaccines and autism. This leads to people not letting their children become vaccinated, which ultimately breaks herd immunity and allows some diseases to make a comeback. Vaccines are not without risk. Nothing is. But some of the most common side effects of vaccines, such as a fever, occur in about 1 in 6 people, and less than 1 in 20 would develop a rash. And for serious allergic reactions, these occur in less than 1 in 1 million people. Meaning during your lifetime, you are more likely to be hit by a meteorite and 100 times more likely to be struck by lightning than to have a serious reaction to vaccines. Vaccines allow us to not only protect ourselves and our children, but to also protect our entire community. Vaccines have saved millions of lives and it is important that we do not forget their significance. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. I hope you have a great day.